All right, today we're gonna review adding and subtracting fractions. You have your foldable ready to go. We're just going to do the first two sections. We're gonna save the multiplying and dividing fractions for another day. So this is just adding and subtracting. So the first examples here in the first column show fractions that have the same denominator. We call those like denominators. And by the way, everything I'm about to explain is written down here in words for you. So instead of just reading that to you, I'm gonna kind of talk you through the problems. So if you have fractions that have the same denominator, you're just going to add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So we're gonna keep seven as our denominator and we're gonna add two plus one to get three. The answer to this problem is three sevenths. You should always check to see if you can simplify your answer. In this case, you cannot, so our answer is 3 sevenths. For the next one, we have, again, like denominators, so we're going to keep the denominator the same, and just like addition, we're going to subtract the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So 9 minus 3 is 6. In this case, the fraction 6 tenths can be simplified. We can divide the 6 and the 10 both by 2 to get 3 fifths. So 3 fifths is the correct answer. It's the fraction in its most simplest form. All right, so that's what we do when we have like denominators. In this next column over here, we have two examples with unlike denominators. So that means the number on the bottom is not the same in each of the fractions. So our first step is going to be to find a common denominator. So we can do that by finding the least common multiple of the two denominators. So that means I wanna find the smallest number that five and 10 go into evenly. If you don't know it off the top of your head, you could list the first few multiples of each number and find the first one that they have in common. That would be the least common multiple. Another way is you could just multiply those two numbers together to get a common denominator. Five times 10 is 50, and that would work, but you would have a lot of simplifying to do at the end. So I know that 10 and five both go into 10 evenly. So if I rewrite this problem, vertically, then I can see it a little bit better here. I wanna make 10 my denominator of each fraction. The first one, in order to get a denominator of five, I had to multiply 10 by, two, I mean five, sorry, let me say that again. In order to get a denominator of 10, I had to multiply five by two. So I'm also gonna multiply the numerator by two to get four. The reason why that works is because what I'm really doing is I'm multiplying by two over two, which is one, and it's legal in math to multiply any number by one. It doesn't change the value. In the, denom in the fraction below, oh goodness gracious, hang on. Let me make a smaller um, eraser here. I just feel like I wrote this one a little too high. Okay, so this one already has a denominator of 10, so the numerator just stays one. So now to add these, I'm gonna keep the denominator the same, which is 10, and I'm gonna add the numerators. The numerators are four and one. Four plus one, of course, is five. And then I wanna simplify that answer. If I divide the five and the 10 by five, I get one half. And we know five tenths is one half anyway, right? Okay, the next one, I'm gonna rewrite these fractions vertically also. I want a common denominator, so I want, this is a subtraction problem, I want denominators that are the same, and the smaller the better, because it's less simplifying for me at the end. So I wanna come up with the least common multiple of 12 and eight, or the smallest number that 12 and eight both go into. So I know that eight does not go into 12, so it's not 12. 12 times two is 24, so I ask myself if eight can go into 24, and it can, so that's going to be my least common denominator, 24. For the first fraction, I had to multiply by two in the denominator, so I'm gonna multiply by two in the numerator. 
For the second one, I had to multiply by three in the denominator, so I'm gonna multiply by three in the numerator, and remember, I'm subtracting these. So I'm gonna keep my denominator the same, which is 24, and I'm gonna subtract the numerators. The numerators are 14 and nine. 14 minus nine is five. I cannot simplify 5 24ths, so that is my answer. Thanks for watching.